Okay, there's that box and that car. That box, that car. Cue circus music. So, we're gonna put this on a Toyota Corolla. Thank you very much, Atlantic Towers. It's gonna look great on our car. And we're about to depart. Yeah, this is for, I don't know, like holding on when we roll. Yes. Yeah. We've got roll bars. That didn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fine. <laughs> Satisfied? Look at all that bottom paint coming off. Yeah. That's horrifying. How do you feel? Was uh, it nerve-wracking? Yeah, it's nerve-wracking. Did we almost crash the boat? No. We the rest of my beard. Go ahead, Dale, show them how it's done. It's just like, you just gotta get a little Picasso stroke going and then you, like so. Beautiful. Are we gonna have that as salad? We're out of vegetables on this the This is not nice, eh? <laughs> so just, would this bother you? <laughs> just fry this up with some tuna, good to go. Oh, that sounds amazing. Tell me, describe the smell. It's fresh. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Fresh Hootie who? So fresh and so clean. Hello. This is my dock line handler. New neighbors. Yes. Just gonna save that for later. Aubrey? Yes. Um, should we take our um, new neighbors back to their boat? Oh, yeah. No, I think we should, uh, what do you call it? Volun. What do you call Vol it? Voluntold. Voluntold them as uh, labor? Yes. Yeah, yes. That's yes. Good. <laughs> okay, we'll take you guys back. We have, and when I say we, I mean Cyril has procured pizza because that's dinner and breakfast of champions. We've got the radio, just in case we have any land troubles, we can dial in 16 and say mayday, mayday, parking lot issues at the uh, marina out here of Cracker Boy. Um, we got a plug and uh, we're gonna watch a movie tonight. Get up early and start the Tawa. on the hard and we're going to erect the tower. Here they are laid out. Um, the three major pieces are the right and the left side of the tower 
and then the centerpiece, which is the radar. So come over here and I'll show you what else came in the back. This is called a tower in a box, and this is by Atlantic Towers. So there's four legs on the tower, and we got the offset tower because the way that our backstays are set up. And if you call them and you tell them what sailboat that you have, they look it up on sailboat data, and um, they tell you what you need, which is pretty cool. So what we have here is some hardware. Um, these are the tangs that are gonna go into the legs or the feet of the tower, which then go into these brackets. So we have brackets here and a backing plate. Um, we made this spacer, which I'll show you now, and this is out of starboard. So what we're using the spacer for is to keep it off the rub rail. And we're gonna mount this on the outside of the hull. Most people mount it on top, but we just kind of ran out of space with our pulpit. So what doesn't come in the box are these screws, um, because they don't really know where you're gonna mount it, um, or how thick your hull is, or how thick your vacuum plates are. So we purchased these from West Marine. So in each package of hardware, there is a slip that lets you know all of the pieces that are in there. So the best thing to do is probably unpack them and just make sure you've got all of your pieces. And it says checked by, and then this slip, it's Mark. So you can call and yell at Mark if you're missing some nuts and bolts. So I like to start from the last instruction and then go to the beginning to see if there's any that I can skip. I don't recommend that roll. So here's the offset tower. You can see, now they talk about loading the tower, which basically means, I thought putting stuff on it, but that's wrong. Um, you're bringing the bottom of the tower in further, and so it's at an angle to give it more structural integrity. Here we've got the tangs and the legs and how those go in, and the, this is the part where we're gonna tap and die. Yeah, so if you'd like to look at pictures to see how things work, they got you covered. So I think we're ready to go over what tools we have. Obviously we have a measuring tape, we have a pipe cutter, which we're gonna use to just score the base of the legs and then we're going to very carefully and smoothly, as Cyril says, slice the aluminum like butter. I don't know if I believe that, but we're gonna, we're gonna give it a try. We have schedule 80 here. We decided to go with the heavier duty stuff so we could also use it as davits. So we got a couple extra blades just in case we run through those. Um, here is some tape just in case we give up. We don't wanna bolt it in. We're gonna tape it to the hole. Power tool, my favorite, markers or cokies if you're South African. Um, they send you with some Marine Tech's epoxy. We have some butyl tape to make sure it doesn't leak. We have some drill bits here, a bunch of different sizes. Our tap and die set, which you guys saw a week or two ago when we were putting in our lazy jacks. And Cyril's beloved, his socket set. He uses it for everything. I'm like, can we just use like a Phillips? He's like, no. So we have some acetone just to clean up our messes from the epoxy that we're gonna put on the feet that we're gonna add the load to the tower with um, to give it that structural integrity that we talked about a few minutes ago. All right, well, let's start drilling holes in the boat. So we're gonna measure the outside width over here. Five and a half inches. Okay. That's 764 centimeters. So we're going to dry fit the tang and the brackets here, and we're gonna tape it so that we can take some measurements. All right. So we've taped both of these on, and we're following the contour of the boat, so we've tipped them down just a little bit. Now we're gonna put our spacers in, and we're gonna measure from inside of the spacer to the inside of the spacer, and we're looking for 66 inches. We're adding a little bit. Searle's measurements, but it's not my forte. So Searle here is going to explain his measurements. So we realize that Little Miss is a really small boat. Hey! And hey! we realize that even if we join it at the closest point with the radar art, there's still quite a bit that needs to be trimmed off. So in order to do this as accurately as possible, we decide to cut the height first. At the current length, this 92 would sit basically where the backstay splits 
and it would look really ridiculous having the Take solar flight. panels up there. Might as well call that a mizzen. <laughs> so we are going to cut this down shorter. So instead of 92, we're going to be at 63, which will make it just slightly higher than the bimini top. And I think it will be nice and strong being that short as well. And just for the record, I'm super nervous. I think I'm going to go throw up in the bathroom. <laughs> Push. And you twist it in and you pull it around. Twist it in and you pull it around. Twist it. Twist it. I don't want to have an oh shit moment today. Today is not the day for an oh shit moment. Why schedule 18 is overkill. So you can't pick that two bits. Baseball. No. Ready? Come on. No. Let's make it a real American. I will, and then Dale's gonna be in trouble. I'm a pretty good shot. Am I using the inside one? No, the top. That's why you have the arrow. Wait. And this is a boss tool. It's gonna be nice to do all the bimini tops with this. Yeah. I think we can keep it from rusting for like more than one week. No. <laughs> it's nice to have hope for it. Make sure to cut that. <laughs> oh, did you want to cut the floor as well? The road. Remember how deep your cockpit is. Is that for security? Yes. <laughs> this is the final final. <laughs> we're gonna make a super chow tower now. You can send it back and ask for a discount and use this part. We could probably go to a recycling yard and sell that scrap metal. Dirty's done dirt cheap. Dirty's in the dumb dirt cheap. We were hoping that one of our sailing friends, Jim, would start speaking like Yoda. Would make our life better. Sail we are now. Bahamas go to. It's good times. So we're gonna invite him over for burgers we are tonight. <laughs> oh hi ho hi ho. Hi ho. Hi ho hi ho hi ho. That's hi all forearm. Is that a lo lonely forearm guys? It's longer strokes. Oh, we're off the beaten path here. I can't get no satisfaction. I can't get no. See you my way. Woo! Go, 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 go! Yeah, but it's fine. This is going to be underneath that radar base. Radar pieces. Please be careful. We need to get the, the file, file those edges. Okay. Okay, let's do this one. Come on. Hi ho. Hi ho. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there I you just go. need brackets and I can make. Four more road holders. So now we just need about $70 worth of hardware from uh, West Marine <laughs> and we can make ourselves a $40 rod holder. It's gonna be great. Wait, did you just, why are those different sizes? Not funny. It, it, it is still fine. <laughs> he measured these out evenly. I got on the wrong side of the. Oh my tape. gosh! Nobody was. Oh, because you made fun of us for drawing the arrows. And then. No arrows. Okay, so now we need to turn these over and cut the other sides. Which, 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 which length? 
you think we should go Seven with? Seven and a half. Which, which one is that? Both of them. 